Hello. Today we're trying Duskers as requested by Blue Nexus on Patreon. This is a game I feel bad about because I wanted to get around to it for a very long time and just never quite got around to it. Whenever I say that it sounds like a singular thing, like it's just, ah, oh, it's just that one game I couldn't quite get to and ah, uh, if only I could just reach it and so on. Uh, but it, in reality, it's always like there's always like dozens of those games all fighting for attention. And then it's like, oh, that looks like a great thing to cover. It looks really interesting and so on. And then it just never quite crystallizes. Honestly, being in the uh, the let's try graveyard is probably a realistic outcome for this game, I suppose. I think it is a l roguelike. In that it, I think it has permadeath and they start the whole campaign over and everything, which definitely... Uh, is one point against it just because I don't really like doing playthroughs of those kinds of games, but everything else about it is super interesting. Let's see. There's skins. You can wear skins. Halloween and default. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright. This is an interesting one. Let's just go ahead and just hop in. We strongly recommend that you take the drone operator training if this is your first time piloting. We could launch the joint training simulator? Yeah. Alright, so they, they take you to the training thing. Wow. I have to take a moment to process what I'm looking at right now. Um, I believe this is a top-down camera, but it's surprisingly hard to tell. Oh, hello. I'm Kelly. Does WSD work? No. Okay. Yeah, now that it's moving, it's easy to tell what's happening a little bit. See, so yeah, this is a game where you control little drones, and you go into, like, space stations and derelicts and whatnot, and sort of try to figure out what to do and go on little missions and so on. Let's see, press 2 to switch to drone 2. I'm going to type 2, and press enter, I think. Spacebar is the schematic view. Currently, the derelict ship is unexplored, so you only see your ship's docking bay. T type open A1, or just A1, and then enter to unlock... Open airlock one. There's a one. It's open. Pilot the drone into the derelict ship through derelict A I one. He found a power in the Notice how drone two has a generator in its list of upgrades. Upper left corner of the screen. That's its list of upgrades? Okay. Gener oh. Then oh, can I just autocomplete? Yes. Now you've powered an area of the derelict ship. Switch to the schematic view. See which rooms are powered. You can now operate the newly powered doors. However, never open doors to unknown rooms. Notice D4 is open. Ta type... N okay. Navigate... 1... R3. So they'll also autopilot. You don't always have to pilot them yourself. But I feel like I might be uh, inclined to control them manually. Press 1 to switch to Drone 1's view and search room 3. Okay, yep, that's where I am. This is immediately such an interesting game. <laughs> like, just the presentation and the gameplay is so out there immediately. It's fun to see something doing something different. Fuel access point. Recommended command gather. Very small text down there. Zero days propulsion acquired, one jump cell acquired, fuel total, zero P cell, one J cell, J fuel, okay. Let's see if room four is safe. Drone one has a motion sensor upgrade. Okay, let's do motion. The red indicator in room four means badness is in there. Let's see if we can herd them out of room four. First pilot drone one back to room three. So navigate one two R two. Then I'm gonna say let's close D four, I think. Yep. And then open D five. I'm not I didn't actually read the tutorial, which I probably should have been doing. Motion. If 
five. There you go. Now we can open D2. I'm ignoring the tutorial, which is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Navig so can I do nav? Oh, I can do spacebar to skip ahead. Let's see, can I do nav can I do navigate one R4? Just cut all the extra words out. Yes. I was gonna say, when you can type stuff like this, you can usually actually get rid of all the special word. Like, there's a lot of words that are only there to help you understand it as a sentence, and if you cut them out, the command stays the same usually. Okay, so motion. Okay, so D3 should be safe. Look at R4. I haven't actually looked around in here yet. Really neat art style. Can I zoom out a little bit? No. Nope. The two views are kind of too extremes. This one feels too close, while the other one feels too... not that close. Uh, the other one feels too far away. Uh, I think part of it might be the fact that... That's interesting. Stuff you've recently seen stays light, lit up, just to give you better, a little bit better of a perspective, but it's a gray light up to imply that you can't currently see stuff that's moving there. It's just to give you a sense of your environment. I think part of what feels so claustrophobic here is that the top of the screen, uh, my, my flashlight goes off the top of the screen, and so I just want to, I probably want to zoom out a little bit more just so I can have the entire view of my flashlight within one screen worth of stuff. Might even be better just since the, since I have such a, I don't know if the whole game applies this way, so I'm just kind of spitballing here. Uh, if I have a perfectly circular light radius around my character, it might even be nice for me to just have a 4x3 screen on the left side of the screen, for example, and then have all of the interface stuff on the right side of the screen in the in the gray area. Kind of like, um, like a Twitch stream, where people have people use, like, the side of the, one side of the screen for, like, their, their, uh, their face cam and, like, the chat and everything. Like, so zooming out slightly and putting it to the side would be kind of, like, might be nice. I'm just kind of throwing it out there, though. Anything in here? A destroyed drone. Drive it up. I uh, drive up to it and type the command swap to loot its upgrades. It's not nice. Hello. Oopsie. I, I just took its lure away. Oh, motion detector only has 50 uses, so it's not a it's not an infinite thing. Switch back to the schematic view. Looks like there's no more ship to explore. To leave, try to do... Let's try a single navigate command to simultaneously send both drones 1 and 2 back to the docking bay. So I do navigate R1 without typing, like, navigate 1 R1 or something. Well, it just sends both of them back. No, is it just navigate? Navigate one two R one. Okay, you list each drone, and you can list list each uh, drone in sequence because they're all numbers. Whereas the doors and rooms are letters. R well, it's R R number D number. So if you you can list a series of drones by their number, and it'll it'll accept that as a series of drones automatically without having to use any sort of special like Excel style syntax to tell them that I mean this with each one of these things. I don't have to spam a bunch of semicolons and parentheses. Thankfully, I would lose my mind. Uh, let's do exit. There we go. Oh, that's it. That's the intro. As you might imagine, this might not be the most, in, like, incredibly engaging Let's Play to watch. Although, I don't know, whenever, I'm often wrong. The weird shit that people don't like, that I wouldn't think people would want to watch, is exactly what a lot of my most few things are. <laughs> but like I said, I wanted to get to this game for years, and, you know, there's infinite. Initiate emergency distress sequence, yes. Vessels detected four. Recommended course of actions, initiate manual contact with vessels, acquire necessary resources to travel. So I think you can compare this a little bit to the sort of sequence, the sort of uh, gameplay loop that's an FTL a little bit on the, on, the, on the larger scale. I think we're navigating space from, from place to place while trying to maintain the resources necessary to keep going, basically. And then when you die, you die. 
obviously there's many, many differences, but I'm just talking about the overall macro scale thing. Externally modified log detected. Would you like to read? I like to read things. Summary of primary objectives. Gather intel and logs from derelict spacecraft. Gather resources necessary for survival. Search for survivors. If objectives cannot be completed, a recommended action, initiate a reset. Hmm. And they, I think they basically mean start over, like the roguelike. Yeah, gather information, get our resources, try to find survivors. And here we are. Yep, these are all my choices, it looks like. That's a Star Ripper, Salvage C, 28 years old. Not visited yet. Scrap capacity variable. This one has the most scrap capacity at 65. 50. This one's the closest, though. Probably just travel to the closest one. Seems like a decent starting point. What could go wrong? Probably my death. Hello. Uh huh. Let's just go with the default. It's my first time. All right. Every, all 70,973 communications in the archive have been corrupted. Goody. Hey everyone. Aaron, Vinny, and Jill. They've all got names so that you care about them and are worried when they die. I don't think they're gonna fuck me by having the first room be full of monsters, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ballsily open up the first one myself. Got me some scrap. No generator upgrade on Jill. Okay. Generator. Aaron has a generator. There we go. That'll power the ship up for a bit. Got D4 added to the map. I think I'm adding- I think I added to the map by wandering around. Oh yeah, I'm like discovering the doors on the flight. Oh, this one's open. Let's close it behind me in case I discover something bad. I don't know the risks that well. Gather. D6, also closed. It's a little tense, but as far as I'm aware, I think we're kind of discovering which ones are open or closed on the fly, so gotta be careful. Navigate to R3. Let's move Vinny around a little bit. He's got a toe and an interface. So I think that means he can interface with certain things, but he can also move things around. Hey. There you go. I think I need that turned on to get to D6. There we go. There we go. Okay, so over there, so now every door that we can see is closed. D4, D9, D6. We don't know where the enemies might be. Do motion. Hmm. So I cannot see into R4 from here. At all, but R5 is full of bads, and R6 is fine. That's our starting point right now, so let's go ahead and open D6. Let's go ahead and go in here, take a look around. Ooh, gather all. I think this is only apply to gather, to scrap I can see though. Use dock A2 from schematic view to redock your ship to airlock A2. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. That's really interesting. All right. Dock A2. Uh, navigate three. 
two. R6. Uh, three and two to R6. If I can use this side to my advantage, then since I've already explored this side, I can go ahead and just abandon R2, I think. Let's see. D10, D6. something okay so you need to be like in the process of currently using the uh, generator in order to power it you don't just turn it on okay hey Jill tell me what you can say say about these rooms up here before I operate with incomplete information okay r5 is bad nothing else is bad and d3 doesn't open d3 does not open hmm all right doc a1, navigate, 1, 2, 3, R2. Yeah, this whole side of the ship's pretty useless to me then. Uh, 2, navigate, 2, R3. Generator. D6. Close that up. Nav 2 R2. Yeah, you can see everything turn off when I do that. Generator. I can see why you'd eventually spend more and more time just looking at this screen. Alright, D8. Motion. Ooh, D8. Okay. Ha! They moved. Alright. D9. D5. Let's take a look in here, Jill. And also maybe close that up before we get in trouble. Hello, Sarah. Info. Use tow to salvage them, but the docking bay are swapped to exchange upgrades. So I get to keep, I can keep, I can keep a Sarah. Gather all. I don't know if you reach capacity on your character eventually, for so I'm just kind of picking everything up as Jill. We seem safe. I'm guessing that uh, Sarah ran afoul of whatever the hell is in the bottom room right now. So let's get Vinny, because Vinny has the tow cable. Towing dro drone Sarah. There we go. Navigate one, two, three, R1. A1. Oh, hey, the previous navigation command stayed in the in the uh, queue, so when I mo opened the door, they went back anyway. Two got stuck and went in a circle. Aw, two, did you get confused? Or AI. Alright. A1, and exit. Oops. Exit. I can dig this. This is, this is, it's chill, but also maybe really tense. So we now have, ooh, Sarah has stun and stealth. There definitely would be a fear, like the tension of the fact that you can, you could, there's definitely enemies in this game and you can't see them, which definitely adds to some horror aspect. It makes you a bit concerned. This one cost me the least to travel, oopsie. Travel too, so let's do that. Um, control left, right, oh, that's the command. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Jill, Aaron, Vinny, and Sarah. 
Uh, I don't think I've been given any reason to think that bringing all four drones has a downside, except for maybe the fact that you could lose them all if it goes really bad, but I don't think it costs more necessarily. But I could be wrong. Ooh. There is a remaining communication. There was a number of remaining communications. Yeah. It looks like 1,500 are not corrupted. The ship's OU went down yesterday. They have automated systems, correct? If we could remotely log into those that have been affected, the derelicts, I mean, we could easily investigate without exposing ourselves to any danger or contaminants. We can sell back the findings left of the facilities of the Persefringes. I guarantee we can sell set scrap for an impressive sum. People are becoming desperate. I may be filling in various gaps because of the fact that it's all corrupty and incomplete. Okay. Hey, everybody. Wait, what am I looking at right now? I guess they're saying that R2 has a bunch of cool stuff on it, if I can reach that far. Good luck. Alright. Figure it doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt to use motion at the beginning this time, just in case the first room has enemies in it. That'd be unfortunate. One, two, three, four, or three. There you guys go. Four did not come. You're right there, four? Oh. Ha. Ha ha. Oh. All right. R.I.P. four. I needed to repair four, and I did not. This the takeaway right now. I just picked up my mouse, which I don't think does anything. Let's put that away. Sorry if that was on the screen anywhere. I don't think the screen. I don't think the mouse does anything in this game. Let's take a look down here. Okay, that door is locked. Or closed, I mean. It's good to establish what's connected to us right now and what's not. A definite concern would just be the idea that uh, you might you might start off in a room with enemies in it, or you might find out that the next room has enemies in it, or like you might find out that you opened up a room that seemed safe, but it was connected to a room with enemies in it, and that room was open, like that all the doors connected were open. So R six is bad. Whereas we don't even know what's behind that other door. Results are inconclusive for R4. That's concerning, because I was already in there. What do you mean, results inconclusive? Ooh, I think this is your chance. You get your interface ability. Yeah, interface. Ship scan. No new items in R3, no items found in the other rooms. Hmm. Defense. Defense in room 6 killed one enemy. Ooh. Well. That's handy. That's good to know. I should be careful, cause... Whoa. Is that like a motion sensor problem that is freaking me out in this room? Okay, so D3 is safe. Let's close it behind me just in case it links to something bad though. Okay. So D3 has a generator. Oh, there's a drone up in R5. So R6 should have just killed whatever was in there. 
go back to three. Defense. Defense is deactivated. I don't trust the defenses not to kill me, is the issue. I don't think that's a crazy conclusion to have. It very well might attack me for going inside there. Hello. Time to get gathery. There's so much stuff in here. Is this purple thing my foe? The apparent enemies that can be around? So there's the ship defenses, which it's moving around. It's a little spooky like that, but it's not apparently activated right now. Maybe. Worryingly, we continue to have inconclusive results in, in D8. Really, R2 is safe. Oh, but D6 is open. Oh, uh, it's not safe now. If I don't move this character, can I keep the motion sensor going? Okay. D3. Two. Yeah, okay. Lost power. Uh, yeah, the sensors are still going, that's good. Alright, space bar. I've got D6 command ready, let's just wait for it to go back. But Oh. Oh. I said it was blocked at first, but now it's closed. Okay, so D2. Uh, D10 first. Uh, D10. D2. I probably want to keep the motion sensor going, don't I? Navigate... 3... R2. Closed door is blocking the path. It is, you're right. I'm gonna lock him in there. Once he gets there. Or he's too dumb. Alright, I'll pilot you. You little adorable bundle of stupid... Here you go. Oh. Whoopsie. Ah! Vinny straight up can't gather. That's probably not great that the person with the motion sensor is also the person that gathers. All that, all that Vinny can do is tow, which really limits his capabilities as a droid. Hmm. Alright, well... D2. Navigate... 3... R3. Navigate one R six. Fuck it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. So Jill is the gatherer, so I need to defend her. <laughs> She's very important. The other character can deal with uh generators, which is also very important. And Finny uses computers and toes, which are not bad, but not as mandatory as the other two things, and by some estimations, I believe. So right now, that room's full of bad. And I don't want, I don't like how full of bad it is. So you navigate one or three. I think I want to try to use the defenses to my advantage again if I can. Let's see. D10. You know what? Maybe I can get more creative with this. Interface is on. It's not powered. No. Ah, <sighs> it's not powered. All 
Right, the doors are open. I can make this work. Alright, so now the defenses are powered. Now we can get a little interesting. Because maybe I can let the enemy from R8 walk into R6. Get these. There, now they're locked in R2. Their only option is to go into the bad room, which I would love them to do. And D2. Now they're locked in there. Alright. I don't really hear any evidence that they're being attacked. Maybe the defenses only work when that terminal is powered, too? Maybe they're no longer activated. They're at least locked in there, I guess. Okay, so D6 is safe. That's all we got. As far as I can tell, I think you can sweep around the room, find all the visuals, and then eventually, uh, type gather all once you've, like, noted them all. And then you get your results. Hmm. I think the best thing might be to return to the first room now and use the generator to power the defenses. And close all the other doors in case we get in deep shit. Oop, defense in room R6 killed one enemy. Uh, D8. That's one way to find out whether or not there's more defenses. Or more enemies around. Luke, no! Yeah. Seems safe in here. Hey Luke, how you doing? Destroyed. This should be pretty easy. So, nah, oop. Uh, Navigate 1, R1. Navigate 3, R5. Gotcha. Apparently he's completely destroyed. So the apparent the implication there is that they can't get uh well they, I mean you, arguably you could still tow them, but this is nothing you can't uh, you can't repair it to be useful. Oh fuck it. Keep messing up my text commands when it's easier to just pilot them. That ah, that ah. pressing all the wrong buttons. Alright. Let's get our asses out of here. There we go. So far, zero casualties and a number of resources gained. Alright, beginning to all this. Gonna go ahead and exit. 
But anyway, that's the, uh, that's the basic gameplay loop. You can definitely get a feel for it right now. So guys, this has been Duskers. If you'd like to check this game out, there is a link to the Steam page in the description. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.